The Red Dragon mission is a crucial step towards SpaceX's goal of sending humans to Mars. The successful completion of this mission will pave the way for more ambitious missions in the future, including the colonization of Mars. Stay and watch the whole video for the latest updates on the Red Dragon mission, and for other space-related news, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. The Red Dragon mission, led by SpaceX, aims to send a capsule to Mars to test the technology needed for future manned missions to the Red Planet. The spacecraft, named the Red Dragon, will be launched on a Falcon Heavy rocket and will make use of the company's reusable Dragon capsule, which has been used in several missions to the International Space Station. The mission is scheduled to take place in 2024, and it will be the first time that a private company will attempt to land a spacecraft on the surface of Mars. The spacecraft will carry scientific instruments and experiments to study the planet's geology and atmosphere. One of the main objectives of the mission is to test SpaceX's new Super Draco engines, which will be used for the company's future manned missions. These engines are designed to be highly reliable and provide a powerful thrust needed for a safe landing on Mars. The Red Dragon mission also aims to test new landing techniques that will be used for future manned missions to Mars. The spacecraft will use a combination of rocket thrusters and a parachute to land on the planet's surface, a technique that has never been used before. The company said it planned to launch a Dragon 2 spacecraft, dubbed Red Dragon to Mars on a Falcon. The company released few other details about that proposed mission, including its cost and funding source. All the recent information about this can easily be found on the company's website. Red Dragons will inform overall Mars architecture. Details to come, the company said it in a tweet accompanied by illustrations of a Falcon Heavy launch and a Dragon spacecraft resting on the Martian surface. The overall Mars architecture appears to refer to SpaceX chief executive Elon Musk's long-term vision of establishing a permanent human presence on Mars. Dragon 2 is designed to be able to land anywhere in the solar system, Musk tweeted April 27. Red Dragon Mars mission is the first test flight. Do you think Elon Musk's SpaceX will allow us to bring humans to Mars? Or are you skeptical about this? Please let us know in the comments. The Red Dragon concept, using a relatively unmodified version of the Dragon spacecraft to land on Mars, is not new. Studies of the Red Dragon concept date back to early this decade, when SpaceX and a NASA team based primarily at the Ames Research Center jointly examined the idea of using a Dragon spacecraft to land on Mars and carry science equipment. SpaceX has always been at the forefront of space exploration and technology, and now they're pushing the boundaries even further with their newest rocket engine, the Super Draco Truster. The Super Draco Truster is a game changer in the world of rocket propulsion. It combines the best features of traditional liquid and solid rocket engines to create an engine that is more powerful and efficient than anything we've seen before. One of the key features of the Super Draco Truster is its ability to throttle its thrust meaning that it can adjust the amount of power it produces during flight. This allows for more precise control during takeoff and landing. In addition to its thrust throttling capabilities, the Super Draco Truster also has a longer lifespan than traditional rocket engines, meaning that it can be used for more missions without needing to be replaced. This technique is unprecedented and will also have to be further developed to increase a chance of human life on Mars. Dragon launched on Falcon Heavy would be a cost-effective option for future missions, concluded an October 2011 report prepared by the NASA-slash-SpaceX team on that initial Red Dragon study. It concluded that Dragon would be able to handle all aspects of entry, descent and landing on Mars with margin, and deliver more than one metric ton of payload to the surface. That is more than the mass of the Curiosity rover NASA landed on Mars in 2012. A key element of the Dragon design that would allow it to land on Mars is its Super Draco thruster system, which SpaceX developed for the Dragon 2 or Crew Dragon spacecraft to serve as a launch abort system. SpaceX envisions using the thrusters to also permit powered landings of the Crew Dragon on Earth, deploying small landing legs from the base. The same system would be used to slow the spacecraft through the Martian atmosphere and land on the surface. Industry sources said work on the Red Dragon concept picked up after SpaceX won a Collaborations for Commercial Space Capabilities Award from NASA in December 2014. The Unfunded Space Act agreement gave SpaceX, among several other companies, access to NASA technical expertise to pursue advanced concepts. 
The agreement does not mention what the Red Dragon mission would do, although the agreement includes language covering the dissemination of Mars science data collected by the mission, which will be treated separately from the technical data from the spacecraft. Red Dragon, if it were to land successfully on Mars, apparently would not operate on the surface for long. The milestones include a post-mission review 60 days after landing. NASA Deputy Administrator Dava Newman briefly mentioned the revised agreement with SpaceX in an April 27 blog post that broadly discusses the agency's commercial partnerships. In exchange for Martian entry, descent, and landing data from SpaceX, NASA will offer technical support for the firm's plan to attempt to land an uncrewed Dragon 2 spacecraft on Mars, she wrote. Musk, meanwhile, has been hinting for months that he will reveal more details about his long-term Mars plan at the International Astronautical Congress in Guadalajara, Mexico, in September. I thought it would be a good venue to describe what we think would be a good approach," he said during a press conference April 8 at NASA's Kennedy Space Center after the Falcon 9 launch of a Dragon cargo spacecraft to the International Space Station. That approach, he added, included eventually establishing a city on Mars. I think it's going to sound pretty crazy, he acknowledged. So, it should be at least entertaining. A city on Mars? Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX, has stated that he believes it is possible to build a city on Mars. He has stated that the ultimate goal of SpaceX is to establish a permanent, self-sustaining human presence on Mars. He also said that SpaceX's Starship spacecraft, currently in development, is being designed with the goal of transporting large numbers of people and cargo to Mars to build a city. Musk has also discussed potential plans for terraforming Mars, which would involve modifying the planet's atmosphere and surface to make it more habitable for humans. He envisions a future where humans would use Mars as a backup location in case of a catastrophic event on Earth. However, building a city on Mars is a massive undertaking and would require significant advancements in technology and also cost a lot of money. Many experts in the field have stated that it would take decades, if not centuries, to make the planet habitable for humans. Musk has stated that he hopes to send humans to Mars as early as 2024, with the first mission being primarily focused on scouting and setting up a base for future missions. The goal is to establish a permanent, self-sustaining human presence on Mars within the next decade. However, these are ambitious plans and timelines, and it's uncertain if they will be met. Sending humans to Mars is a complex and challenging task that will require significant advancements in technology and funding. Now the video comes to an end. Hopefully, you have become wiser about the recent developments within SpaceX and their new technology. Are you also enthusiastic about these developments? Then be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay informed. Thanks for watching. Stranger Binge, subscribe and find out.